Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Success with Cess, brought to you by the Guerra Group, where we help you make your real estate dreams come true. Now, Success with Cess is, is my new podcast where we talk about uh, making uh, dreams come true in general. And today's guest is Arlene Schneider, a good friend of mine, uh, uh, a longtime connection. And uh, we actually met when I was doing the book tour for Gumbo for the Tiger Soul. Um, Arlene was a member of a book club and she was um, in, in the group and we met and became fast friends. So. Arlene, it's so good to have you here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, with Success with Cess, I'm inviting friends, neighbors, entrepreneurs, business people, all that have uh, great businesses and that are doing good things in the community, helping people make their dreams come true. So, um, first off, before we get started, Tell the audience just a little bit about you, your background, your certifications. I think what you do is so interesting. Uh, it's something that we have in common in terms of, of uh, helping people. Mm -hmm. So what I do, I am a certified professional life coach. I have a background as a therapist 14 years. I stopped working to raise my two sons and then found life coaching when they were in high school, wanted something to do, and I have gone through a program that was very intense, learned a lot about myself, learned a lot about people and the world, opened a private practice in Gray Heights, and I now see clients virtually all over the country. Well, I'm glad you're here and that we're doing this in person. Um, so I've I've known and I've seen um, the, the concept of life coaching out there. It seems to be something along the lines of um, what a psychologist would do. H how does it differentiate, say, from going to a professional psychologist and to going to a life coach? Well, that's a good question. Okay. And a lot of people have the question, what's the difference between coaching and therapy? There's a big difference, and I'll tell you what coaching is. Coaching looks at having a person move forward in their life. Coaching helps a person to change their perspective, to change their outlook on life. We do not work with trauma. We do not work with um, people who have mental illnesses. Certainly, I see clients who are under the care of psychiatrists and even see right. a psychologist who might be right. depressed or anxious. But we do not work with trauma. We help people in the present, in the here and now, right. taking where they are, moving forward with a different perspective on life. That is, that is spot on. And I, I find myself, as a team leader for the Guerra Group, doing a lot of coaching and getting uh, or sharing with the team the, uh, the here and now, as you say. Um, because we're all giving us given a set of circumstances, whether we're working for the buyer, working for the seller, what have you, and the challenges in front of us, we have to uh, adapt or adjust our mindset. And is that something you work on? Mindset is exactly what I work on. And one difference that I want to make clear is that coaches do not ever give advice or suggestions. We believe that the client has what they need inside of them. They know what they want. Right. They know the way to get there. It is just up to a certified coach to figure out the right questions, the empowering questions, to have the client reach deep inside and figure out their own path. Right. Because as you know, raising children, you cannot tell, if you tell somebody what to do, chances are they won't do it. <laughs> but if they figure it out, right. then there is no limit to what they can accomplish because they have ownership of their plan and their goals. Yes, and to do it on their own. On their own. On their own free will. Yes. Yes, and so, and that's, that is uh, a challenge for a lot of people because it's so easy to get comfortable. It's so easy to kind of accept your circumstance in life and 
And then the challenge is to kind of rewire the circuitry up here mm -hmm. and get them pointed in the right direction. Tell us um, uh, an interesting story about maybe one of your uh, success stories. Okay. I, I have so many that I'd love to share, but I, I'm going to share one that's recent. I'm okay. working with a young man out of state. Um, we're doing virtual work, and which is really interesting with young adults and teens. They really take to it very well. But I was working with him on some other issues, um, organization, virtual learning, and he mentioned that he is an athlete, and he was having difficulty with his game. Uh, he, began, he would become very frustrated and uh, would throw his racket and he would just lose focus and lose concentration. So we worked on with some coaching because coaching, also, I also am a performance coach, so we worked on performance. Right. He went out the next week based on our coaching and he had the best tennis game he had ever had in his life. That is great. That's a great story. And what changed was his perspective. Because when he didn't hit a shot that he liked, he would tell himself, oh my God, this is horrible. This is going to yeah. be yeah. a horrible game. I'm going to lose this set. Right. Changing right. the perspective. Changing yeah. the self-talk makes all the difference. Yes, yes. I, I uh, talk about that all the time. But the self-talk, the self-messages, because... You know, instead of saying something like, oh, you're an idiot, you forgot the keys, you can say, I'm so smart, I remembered that I left my keys inside. There you go. Yeah, it's, my, it, it's, mind, it's mindset. It is mindset. Yeah, it totally is. It totally is. And so, um, that is so cool. And one thing I heard you say was that you're working with somebody in, in a different state. Yeah. So uh, in this virtual world of, of podcasts and videos and, and things of that mm -hmm. nature, you're, you're open to, to working with anybody anywhere. Anybody anywhere. Before COVID, I had a private practice, and I'd say 90% of my clients came to my office, and they love that, and I love that, and I do miss the face-to-face. Yes. But now 100% across the country, 100%. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Well, here at Success with Sess, the podcast, we are going to expand your reach worldwide. Right. A world rush. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're going to help you make your dreams come true just as you help your, your clients' dreams come true. And so um, so as, as football season approaches, you know, because I like to talk about a lot of different things with my friends as football season is approaching, uh, I know that you're two favorite teams, the New Orleans Saints and the LSU Tigers. Absolutely. So what do you see, uh, what are you forecasting for uh, the, the teams this year? Oh, gosh. I, LSU first. I'm going to miss Joe Burrow so much, and I'm really going to tune in to see what he's doing in the NFL. I hear he's having a great camp. Yes. Yeah, with um, Bengals. Yeah. You know, I know our O-line is in quarantine right now for <laughs> LSU, so... You know, I don't know. I trust Coach O immensely. Yes. I think he's a great motivator. I would love to interview him. Or if you could have him on your podcast. Oh, Coach O, did you hear that? Yeah, Coach We o. want you here. Yes, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> and as far as the Saints, I hear they're having a great camp. Um, Drew has worked on his um, arm strength and his throwing motion during COVID. Uh, because he had, people are saying, oh, he's old, he can't throw this far, but in camp he's doing some really good things. Um, he's gotten some good weapons, and so I feel really good about the Saints' chances this year. Oh, that's excellent, excellent. And so before we take off, uh, tell the audience how to get in touch with you, and we'll be sure to uh, put the information uh, right there on the screen where you can see it. And... Um, Tell us your website. Okay, the, my website is www.schneidercoachinggroup.com, and you'll see the spelling after Seth picks it up. <laughs> and you could go on my website, you could see about me, you could see all the services I offer, and please look at the testimonials, which I'm so honored to be able to have included on my website from clients who have benefited from coaching. And you can also call or text me at 
8083. Right, excellent. Thank you so much for being here. And as, as you're going to get to know a little bit more about me over the weeks, months, and hopefully years to come with the Success with Cess podcast, I love music. And so I've picked, up, picked out a song for you. And so as we tune out, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Uh, the performance of U2 in Green Day in the Superdome. Yes. The day they came back from Katrina. Yeah. So, Arlene, thank you so much for thank being you here. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It. And um, once again, we're signing off from Success with Cess. Stay tuned for another edition next week. We'll have another interesting guest, another interesting song, and you guys have a great week. Bye.